Hello, Google fans. It's Charles speaking. This is the unboxing of the 30th anniversary RX-78 II Gundam, our SD Super Form SD Gundam from the original Mosu Gundam series. This is my the first Gundam that ever. Oh, I mean, this design is the first Gundam that ever came out, and I actually don't have any of the RX-78 IIs. So, you know, I thought this would be a good start, but this is going to be repainted and um, it's going to be a, another addition to my Kamen Rider X Gundam crossover line or, you know, customs. So let's just go ahead and get into the box. Of course, this is, of course, a Bandai kit. And this is the 30th anniversary one. It was produced in 2009 in Japan by Bandai. Here you see the RX-72 Gundam. You know, here he says Amuro Ray, his weapons, prototype close combat mobile suit assign. It's legions. I don't know, very very uh plain box around. I don't know. It's like you know, shows a kid in space from his you know beam rifle. You can tell this thing is full of details. So bottom of the box we get the stickers. You know, choking hazard, which shows all the features, which is partly the um, articulation of this kit, which is supposed to be amazing, from what I've heard, at, le at least for 2009. This is number 329 in the BB Senshi series. Again, Gundam, RX-78 II, SD Gundam, here's the Bandai logo. Turn around, we get um, the Gundam. I'm thinking this means like the co color, accurate colors, shows that you don't need to paint the yellow on his chest. Here we see RX-78 II Gundam, Pilot, uh, Amuro Ray. It comes with polypropylene, I think it is. It's I think it's about recycling. And um, this kit is for 800 yen, uh, Japanese yen, but um, I got it from Robots for Less for 11.99, which is a, a fair price. And again, here's the other side. Again, the 800 out there. So let's drop this down. And the first thing we see is this little cutout. I'll put it far away so you can see it closer. So basically, you see the um, the white base in the background. You see a battlefield. You see a lot of beams, and explosions, and on the side you get the gun cannon, BB Senshi 225. And the gun cannon, B Senshi 221. Gun tank and gun cannon, excuse me. Um, I don't know, it's really cool. It's a cutout. You're supposed to like set it like this and then you put your Gundam in front of it. You know, so it, kind of like a quick diorama. Oh, sorry. A quick diorama. So going on, put this aside. We, get, we see the contents of the box. Uh, let's First things is the let's go with A Runner. The A Runner SD Gundam. Uh, that's what it says up there, and you can see yellow for the vents and the chest or the the collar. You get yellow eyes, but you're supposed to I'm gonna have to paint the black, or if I would be painting stock colors. Oh, excuse me. We have the yellow on the on the skirts. We see here the red from the chest and the feet, and the chin and the under eyes, kind of you know the bags of the eyes, and the red for the V fin, along with the gray part for the backpack. And here we have the blue with nice deep slots for the vents and here's the back so that's the A runner let's see kind of what I have in my head right now is the B runner I believe unless there is no B runner I'm not positive I didn't look through this kit before I opened this so I'm just <laughs> we're doing it live kind of thing um, this is a C runner. 
I guess there's no bee runner. Um, so here you get a, it's kind of like an off white. Like you can see the difference between the inside of the box here and this white. And it's not just the light. It's kind of, um, when I look at these colors, I think of the Verka colors. Kind of a very muted red, very uh, nice yellow, kind of non, non like off white, on, on the white, I guess, off white. So I, I think this is very much like the Verka colors. Although the, and as you'll see in a minute, you'll see the decals. Uh, so here we have front and back of the head. Nice details there. Uh, here the sho here's the shoulder armor, uh, beam savers, I guess. Then you have the beam savers in storage mode, like for the backpack. Here you have the front and back skirt, the arms, yeah, arms, uh, the feet, I guess. I, I can't really tell. Here are the fists, they're not ball joints, they're um, those swivel joints that aren't that really that good. This was featured in like the double with not double, um the double O line, which I don't really like. I kinda like the ball joints better. Here's parts for the for something else, the arms, and here are the legs with the ankle armor. And here you get the toothpick, as Prime Two calls it, or like a beam saver. So that's the C runner. Then you get the D runner, which is this grey. It's a very light grey. As you can see, the shield is completely gray. Uh, here's the the beam rifle in three parts, two halves, and then the scope. You know, you can see that it's cut off, so there must be more to must have been more to this, I guess. And you got a polycap runner. Uh, let's see, PE. It doesn't say any numbers or anything like that. But it looks like a very good runner. Um. Here are the foil stickers. You get um, outline of the eyes, the red for the sh the red for um, the body, I guess. Red for the cameras, for the little spot on the crotch. Here's the shield, and then you get the yellow star, and then you get the scope. So that's a foil runner, a foil sticker, and then you get uh, clear decals. You can tell. Um, let's see. White base 102, e EFSF, ARC 782, got some warnings. And then we can look at the manual. Which is a tiny manual, I don't know. So here we see BB Senshi. Here we see the Gundam in his full armament. Here you see the, the features that we couldn't see in the back. Like you can do the pose from the first episode, or you can do the pose from the final episode. Here you see the possibility, more possibility, painting guide, and then the back, and then very unusual, a decal guide. Let's see, you can see. So I mean, if you really, if you want to do this in stock colors and put a lot of effort into it, it could look really good. But I mean, that's the case for a lot of model kits. Here you get another color splash page. It kind of shows scenes from the show. The possibility, the weapons like the beam rifle, beam saver, and shield. Here you see the, the um, Project V. Again, same pose, cutting through. Here you see the, the Zagok, and against the Zeong, which is the kit I was going to get instead of this one. Over here, you get the instructions. You see A, C, D1, and PC. And as you can tell, no B runner. And, I, and as Primary 2 explained, and you know, this was supposed to be the, um, I think, the perfect Gundam, but it got remolded to be the 30th anniversary edition. So here you build the kit, you know, make the head, all the basics. But from what I'm seeing, the articulation is going to be extremely good, and I'm going to be able to pose this kit really well. So I am very happy, and it shows you how to, what kind of possible you can get. So, that is it. That is the unboxing of the um, 30th anniversary RX-78 II Gundam. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I'll answer them. I'll try and answer them. 
Um, you know, the usual things, like, subscribe if you want to. But otherwise, that's about it. So until next time, keep building, my friends.